In this video, let's see how to solve the given system of equations using matrices and determinants and the properties of inverse. Now we know that the applications of matrices and determinants are fundamentally two. The first is to examine the consistency and the second is to solve the system of equations. In this video, we are going to take how to solve system of equations using matrices and determinants and the properties of inverse. Now the guidelines would be what? The guidelines means what would be the step by step procedure or if we can schematically list it out or down in the form of a flowchart. So yes, we can always do that. The first step would be to express the given system of equations in the form of Ax is equal to B as we saw in the previous video. A would be the coefficient matrix, X would be the variable matrix, B would be the constant matrix. Once you are done with this, your task is to find out determinant of A. Determinant of A means determinant of the coefficient matrix. Now two things are possible. Either what will happen that the determinant value will not be 0 or what will happen the determinant value will be equal to 0. Two cases are only possible. If the determinant value is by chance not 0, then we say that there exists a unique solution. That means only one unique solution will exist to the given system of equations. While if we have determinant value equal to 0, again something else would follow that we will see. But Coming back to this, determinant value is say minus 5 or plus 4 or plus 32. That means it is not 0. That means we would have a unique solution. And what would that solution be? That solution will basically be given after we compute what? After we compute inverse. And how to compute inverse? Inverse will be computed in the form as A inverse. This A inverse will be basically what? 1 by determinant of A multiplied by adjoint of A. That means firstly you will calculate inverse and for inverse you will use this formula and the solution will simply be given by X is equal to A inverse B. This is the procedure. Things will become more clear when we do the questions in the successive videos. But for now, you need to understand that if Ax is equal to B is how you express the given system of equations. To solve it, you need to first and foremost calculate the determinant. Determinant can be 0 or not 0. If not 0, very good, you have one solution for sure. And A inverse is how computed. It is computed by this formula and the solution is X is equal to A inverse B. Now, what if the determinant value is equal to 0? If the determinant value is equal to 0, you need not worry. There is still hope of a solution or more than one solution or no solution. Let's see. If it is equal to 0, your task is to find a joint A multiplied by B. What you need to find? A joint A into B. Now, again, this a joint A into B will have some value. Maybe this value comes out to be 0. And maybe this value is not 0. Now if this value comes out to be 0, if a joint A multiplied by B comes out to be 0, you have solution but not one. You have infinite solutions to the system of equations. Right? If a joint A into B comes out to be 0 and you discover already earlier that del A is also 0. Det A is also 0, determinant of A is also 0. Both zeros means infinite solution. But if det A was 0 but a joint A into B is not 0, then what happens? Then what happens is you get a no solution to the given system of equations. So having determinant value Having determinant value as 0 cannot decide what is the solution, how many solutions until and unless you solve a joint A into B and then yes, if infinite solution or no solution that will be decided upon.